hello students a warm welcome to all of you today we are going to discuss sixth chapter in our cbse curriculum of grade 9 that is lines and angles so the name of the chapter is lines and angles so that is sixth chapter lines and angles see what is the speciality in this concept of lines and angles apart from you already learned something in grade 8 grade 7 and grade 6 also <coughs> see here we need to discuss about some applications and really interesting facts in the concept of lines and angles this is purely application based concept which is given in our grade 9 so whatever the concepts that you already learned we are going to recollect all of them and we'll try to understand them in a different way and in an easier way to resolve the given problem right so first of all what do you mean by three different words we could call them as a basic words in geometry basic words in geometry they are the first one is line and the second one is point and the third one is a plane will you be able to define line point plane in fifth chapter introduction to euclid geometry we have come across these three words line point as well as plane and there it was clearly mentioned that line point plane are three basic geometrical words which do not have any specific definition any specific definition means what these three are three undefined terms but we see people trying to define all these things line point plane they define line as a line is infinitely many number of points can be extended indefinitely in both the direction that is in fact the property of a line there is no definition of a line so line consists of infinitely many number of points on it that is what is not the definition that is what is called property of the line similarly a point point is just a mark of a position that is also the that is also the property of a point and you see uh, some define this point as a circle with uh, zero radius is said to be a point that is called a point circle in fact so there is no definition for a point also like that a plane so plane is nothing but if you consider this board this board has infinitely many number of points so you can consider this board as a plane that is what is the property of the plane so it means there are no definitions specific definitions for these three words line plane as well as point but we are dealing with only their properties please do remember that right coming to the point here in this concept of lines and angles first let us try to understand lines different lines okay according to the property of a line a line is having a set of infinitely many number of points that can be extended in both the directions is said to be the property the very important property of a line and if you observe a line this is a line and for this line there is no starting point and there is no ending point of the line right and uh, how do you represent the line if there is no starting point there is no ending point now let us take two points on the line let the first point is p and the second point is q then you can represent this line pq as pq on the top there is a small line it means this is the indication of a line pq it doesn't mean that starting from p and ending up with the q understand and if you take one starting point and there is no ending point if you observe the sun rays where are the sun rays starting from sun rays starting from sun right but 
they can go up to any extent. It means there is a starting point, initial point of all those sun rays. The initial point of all those sun rays is the sun, right? So, this is the sun and uh, these are all different rays come out from the sun. That is why these are all called as sun rays. Simply, we can call them as rays because they are coming from sun. If there is any object which is producing the light, then that is what the initial point of all those rays. So, that is why if you consider any ray, there is a starting point, but there is no ending point. Then we indicate, for example, this is a ray, there is a starting point of the ray, there is no ending point. The starting point is indicated by, for example, O and the ending point is not ending point, some point on this ray is A. Then we indicate this ray as O A ray, right? O A ray means there is a starting point, but there is no ending point. This is a part of our line and similarly, I want to take one initial point as well as one terminal point on a particular line. Then that could be considered as a segment of the line because a part of the line. So, segment of the line is called line segments, line segment which has a starting point as well as which has an ending point. So, that is nothing but for example, this is a line segment there is a starting point as well as there is one more ending point. For example, the starting point is x and ending point is y, then we can indicate this line segment by x, y line segments. See, there are three different notations for a ray, sorry, this is a line as well as a ray as well as a line segment, right. This is about one line. For example, if you have a pair of lines given are drawn on the sheets, a pair of lines. For example, this is one line and uh, this is one more line. So, these two lines, two different lines are intersecting at one point. So, that point is said to be common point for both the two lines. That common point is said to be the point of intersection. What do you call that? Point of intersection. Suppose, if there are three lines, this is what you called as point of intersection, point of intersection of both the lines. For example, if there are three lines intersecting at a point, see this is one line and similarly this is one more line and similarly this is one more line, these three lines are intersecting at this point. Of course, that is what you call point of intersection, but in this specific case, three or more than three lines intersect at one point, then this point of intersection is said to be point of concurrence. What do you call that? Point of concurrence. So, point of concurrence means if three or more than three lines intersect at a point, then that point of intersection is said to be concurrent point of concurrence or concurrent point simply. So, concurrent point are nothing but if three or more than three lines intersect at one point. Understand? Right. So, this is point of intersection. This is also point of intersection, but in this specific case, if three or more than three lines intersect at one point, then that point of intersection is said to be point of concurrence, right. Now, let us try to understand about a pair of intersecting lines. So, what can you infer about a pair of intersecting lines, okay. And before that, you need to understand what do you mean by an angle? What do you mean by an angle? See, simply uh, we come across so many number of angles every single day in mathematics we talk about angle, more or less definitely we talk about angle, but we should understand what do you mean by an angle, what do you mean by an angle. For example, this is one point and sun rays or light rays are simply rays starting from this point, okay. This is one ray and this is one more ray. These two rays are starting from this point. So, this point is said to be the initial point as uh, otherwise the starting point, okay. I am taking one point on the first ray 
let this point is equal to A and the point on the second ray let it be B, right. So, generally if you want to measure an angle between these two rays, angle between these two rays, then you will have to place your protractor like this, okay. After placing the protractor like that and then in this direction you will have to measure the angle. So that is why we say that angle should be measured in anti-clockwise direction according to the position of the rays, right. So that is what how do you measure the angle, but in that concept of measuring the angle you would understand one thing that what do you mean by that angle, what do you mean by that angle that is what we are going to discuss now. See I am taking one ray what do you call this ray starting from O and there is a point on the ray let it be A and if you make this ray as fixed ray then it is called initial ray what do you call that initial ray and then there is one more ray which has the same initial point and the name of this ray is for example OB ray. Now, the combination of these two rays, the combination of these two rays, this is what is called the combination of these two rays. The combination of these two rays is said to be an angle. So, what do you mean by an angle? An angle is the combination of two rays with the same initial vertex, same initial point the combination of two rays with same initial vertex is said to be an angle. See you can measure the angle between these two lines for example, see when we draw an angle generally we draw an arc, why we draw an arc because it is an angle. So that is why we just draw an arc we do not draw like this, you understand so, because this part this particular radius is always same as this particular radius you understand. So, that is why we generally draw arc to represent an angle and please do not get any confusion that if you draw an arc like this and if you draw an arc like this is there any difference between both the angles not at all because this is the combination of two rays got my point. So, the angle you are measuring between these two so that the angle between these two is always same even when you draw an arc like this or when you draw an arc like this or when you draw an arc like this it remains unchanged because this is the combination of two rays with same initial vertex is said to be an angle. Hope you understand what do you mean by angle right. So now let us try to understand what are different types of angles. So here if you want to form an angle you need two rays with same initial vertex. Now I am going to explain you how many types of angles are there, okay, right. So now we are going to discuss about types of angles, types of angles. See this is one ray and the initial point is O and there is one more ray lying on the same ray the name of the first ray is OA ray and the name of the second ray is OB ray. So definitely the rotation has to start in anti-clockwise direction then only angle will be formed, okay. But see is there any rotation formed between any rotation happening between OA and OB, OA and OB still coincide each other means the rotation not started at, if the rotation not started at then the angle between OA and OB is equal to 0 degrees, angle between OA and OB is equal to 0 degrees. So here you can say that angle AOB is equal to 0 degrees. If angle AOB is equal to 0 degrees then that particular angle 0 degrees is called 0 angle, what do you call that 0 angle. So, 0 angle means what? 0 degrees is called 0 angle, got it? Next, coming to the second one, see for example, this is initial ray, OA ray and uh, this is one final ray, let it be ray OB and when you observe the angle between OA and OB is 
can you can you uh, estimate what could be the possible measurement of this angle aob see this angle aob is absolutely less than 90 degrees this angle aob is absolutely less than 90 degrees so if the measure of an angle is less than 90 degrees of course it should be more than 0 degrees it should be more than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees i will give you one um, notation for that angle let theta be the angle theta is the indication for angle we will use this theta in higher classes to represent an angle okay so if the theta is an angle then you can say that the measurement of that angle theta should always be more than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees so if the measurement of an angle more than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees you can write it as 0 degrees less than theta less than 90 it means theta must be more than 0 and less than 90 degrees then this kind of angle is said to be an acute angle what do you call this angle an acute angle so acute angle means the measure of an angle is more than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees then it is said to be an acute angle can you give me an example for an acute angle yes 1 degree 2 degree 89.9 degrees all these angles can be considered as acute angles right okay coming to the next angle next angle is see this is the angle this is one ray that is initial ray oa and this is final ray ob the angle between oa and ob is exactly 90 degrees this is the indication for 90 degrees if the angle between oa and ob is exactly 90 degrees means if theta is equal to exactly 90 degrees then that 90 degrees is called right angle what do you call that angle it is said to be right angle but if we once observe when you use system to get angle from equation editor or somewhere else you can find out two kinds of angles this is one kind of angle and this is one kind of angle but please be very much particular about choosing one of these two to represent an angle if there is any angle other than 90 degrees then choose this symbol but if it is exactly 90 degrees then only you choose this symbol otherwise you do not choose this symbol from your equation editor of your computer right microsoft word it is available in right so this is about right angle see first angle is zero angle if the angle between two lines is zero degrees means if the rotation is not started at then the angle is said to be zero angle if the value of the angle is more than zero degrees and less than 90 degrees then that angle is said to be an acute angle if the measure of an angle is exactly 90 degrees then it is said to be a right angle and coming to the next angle what is the next angle see here it is 0 here it is between 0 and 90 and here it is 90 after that more than 90 degrees so if you observe an angle which is more than 90 degrees more than 90 degrees means what for example this is again an initial ray oa is initial ray and uh, see this is right angle right this is right angle now i am taking one 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 more ray this is one more ray so this ray is equal to some ob ray this is what the angle between both the two lines see once you observe what is the measurement of that angle the estimation of that measurement of that angle is obviously this is crossing 90 degrees only no so it should be more than 90 degrees but it is more than 90 degrees and uh, if you observe this is one of the lines okay it should be more than 90 but when you count these two angles when you measure both the angles with respect to this line then this entire angle this entire angle is going to be 90 plus 90 90 plus 90 equal to 180 degrees but it is less than 180 degrees only no so it should be more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees so if the angle which is more than 90 degrees so 90 degrees less than theta less than 180 degrees it means theta is more than 90 and less than 180 then what do you call this kind of angle this angle is said to be obtuse angle 
so obtuse angle means the measurement of the angle which is more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is said to be obtuse angle and coming to next type of angle next type of angle is see this is ray oa ray and this is the ray ob ray okay so this is oa ray and this is ob ray see it is of course the reference line to make it as 90 degrees see here it is 90 degrees and here it is 90 degrees what is 90 plus 90 which is equal to 180 so this entire angle is going to be 180 degrees so if the angle between two lines is equal to 180 degrees then what do you call that angle how it is looking like it is looking like a straight line so that is why that angle on the straight line is said to be straight angle what do you call that angle it is said to be straight angle so what do you mean by straight angle 180 degrees is said to be straight angle got it and coming to the next one see the rotation is starting in this direction if you observe this is what the rotation see 180 degrees is over what next next thing is like this is again oa ray okay and uh, this is 90 degrees its reference is over 180 degrees also reference is over now this is the position of the ray this is the ray ob once you observe what would be the measurement of this angle the measurement of this angle is this is 90 degrees over this is 90 over 90 plus 90 over after 90 plus 90 180 over 180 over is nothing but it should be more than 180 only no right so it is more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees if the angle which is more than 180 degrees less than 360 i would write here more than 180 degrees 180 degrees less than theta less than 360 degrees then that angle is said to be a reflex angle what do you call that angle a reflex angle so reflex angle means the measurement of the angle should be more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees coming to the last angle in this criteria that last angle is for example you have a line this this is what the line okay and uh, uh, let us say i am taking one ray right generally we take ray so this is the point here i am taking the initial point and this is the terminal point a now the ray is another ray that is what terminal ray is completed and again it reaches the same position this is ob ray once you observe how much angle is formed here it is started rotating it completed 90 degrees 180 degrees more than 180 degrees and reached again there it means two straight angles are completed if two straight angles are completed then it is considered as one complete revolution one complete revolution is nothing but how many right angles it completed four right angles that is why this angle theta is equal to 360 degrees and 360 degrees is called a complete angle what do you call that a complete angle so these are different types of angles between two lines hope you understand how do you identify the angles and all thank you